bait chuckers out there. Thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Michael and welcome back to the channel. So some of you might not know this, but today, April 20th, is actually an international holiday. That's right, 420 is also commonly known as International Oregano Day. So I thought to myself, what could I do for International Oregano Day? I wanted to come up with a couple different ideas and I thought to myself, well, you know, Chris Jones already has a video on infusing paprika into a bait. So I figured, well, keeping with the kitchen spice theme, what if we infused oregano into a bait? I don't think this has been tried before from my limited research I've done on YouTube, and I think it might be kind of fun. So today we're going to infuse some stick baits with some oregano. I live out here in California, and it's really easy to get our hands on oregano. I mean, the fact you can go to stores that have hundreds of different varieties of oregano for you to choose from. It's incredible. But all I really had to do was go down the street. Uh, you know, I went to take the bus into downtown and uh, asked the guy there at the bus stop, I said, hey, do you know which bus gets off near the oregano store? And he was like, bro, I got you covered. I got fresh oregano right here. And wouldn't you know it, $20 later, and we got ourselves a fresh bag of some chunky oregano. Oh yeah, 100% devil's lettuce, not to be trifled with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this fresh chunk oregano, we're gonna grind it up in our oregano grinder, and then we're gonna infuse it into some stick baits. I chose stick baits because when I researched the most commonly way that people consume their oregano, it's they roll it up into joints. So I figured, well, we got the five inch classic stick bait and some tail molds, so why not make an oregano infused stick bait that mimics that of what a joint would look like. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Come along with me. So to start with, we are gonna do the tips, the tails first, okay? So we're just gonna start with some MF Jelly Red. Uh, we're just gonna uh, throw a little bit in there. This is the, the Jelly Red. We'll see what this looks like. I'll do a little more, squirt some more in there. There we go. Give it another little squirt. Look at that, there we go. And that is a nice solid red right there. Let's throw in some red flake. Definitely want to load these tips up. We want them to be real bright, real flashy. Yeah, let's do another one. Here we go. It's a lot of glitter for a tiny amount of plastisol. This is only a half cup, but I really want to go for that super red, translucent, glimmery look there. Here, let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what we're working with. I apologize for keeping you so zoomed out. Look at that. So we're going to throw in some of the ultra fine as well, the 0 0.015. We'll do one, two heaping teaspoons of the small glitter as well. Okay, here we are. This is the red that we're dealing with. For the tips, heavy, heavy glitter, just a little bit of jelly red. Shouldn't take much plastic at all for these tail molds, I wouldn't imagine. Oh yeah, yeah hardly anything. Okay, here we go. We're just going to demold these right here. Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Those are going to look great. Alright, I went ahead and shot another set of tails. Just, you know, we might need more than one batch, you never know if we get on a tear. So, alright, second set of tails looks just as good as the first. Alright, and while our plastisol is cooking in the microwave for the rest of the stick baits, we went ahead and got all of the tails lined up. You want to make sure you get every single tip right in where it needs to be. Oh, 
looks like we have a successful fit all the way around that's what we like to see good stuff all right well our plastisol is finishing in the microwave let's go ahead and get our oregano ready there we go and if you ever wanted to know what twenty dollars of chopped oregano looks like there you go fantastic all right going with some bone white here I figure something to simulate the outside of a wrapping paper and ooh, it looks like a little bit of this will go a long way I think that's probably going to be plenty 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 all right let's get our oregano here and let's go ahead and just uh, drop it in huh I want to make sure not to spill any of our oregano yeah All right, there we have it. Let's see, this is probably going to cause some moisture bubbles for sure, I would imagine. Let's see what happens here when we combine our oregano. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got bubbles for sure. Mmm, smells fantastic though. Here we go, we got everything vacuumed. Up to temperature, nice and hot. Five inch classic stick bait with the oregano infusion. Let's go. Felt like a nice smooth injection. I don't think we had any issues there. Hopefully, everything bonds up nicely to those tails. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how everything turned out. Hey, huh? Check that out. <laughs> Oregano infused stick baits. What do you think? You think these are going to catch some bass? Oh no, there's no sparkle or anything in here. I'd like to do another round with a little bit of sparkle. Maybe some green flake. See if we can't get a little bit of sparkle out of the rest of those stick baits. But that looks pretty good. Huh? What do you think? Oregano infused stick baits. There we go. I went ahead and made another batch with just a little bit more sparkle in there. You can see we put just a smidge of green and a dash of purple just to give it a little more sparkle in the water. I mean just barely anything at all. Alright, here we go. We started getting crazy with the cheese whiz. So we'll see if this works out here or not. We've got some bonus baits, the epic whip wad. Just in case the stick baits don't work out, we got some oregano infused whip wads with that fiery tail. Oh yeah. Looks like everything molded in there beautifully. I think that should hold. This is worm blend after all, but you know, we just shot three of them because you never know. Hey, we'll see if we can't uh, catch them on the uh, oregano infused whip wad. You never know.
you, Delta. I think this is the first time we've formally introduced you here on the channel to the Delta. Uh, it's a beautiful fishery, one of the best fisheries out here on the West Coast. And uh, yeah, we brought the oregano infused baits today. We're going to see if we can't get a bite. We got three different setups we're going to be using today. Uh, the first setup is going to be weightless Senko. Uh, they are five inch stick baits, so we're going to do weightless Senko wacky rig. So we got the spinning setup for that. The second setup is a quarter ounce weighted Texas rig, so we'll be throwing the stickworm Texas rig style. And then we also rigged up the whip wad on a 4 aught one eighth ounce beast hook. So we'll be running that on the whip wad setup. And then, you know, if all else fails, I did bring a shaky head and some other worms I poured, but we're not going to get into that because we are definitely going to catch some bass on these oregano infused baits. I, I just know it. So, uh, Again, it is the Delta, so I'm going to apologize in advance for any wind noise that there might be on this video. And uh, All right, let's go catch some fish. All right, well, let's kick it off with a little five-inch weightless Senko. What do you say? Probably got the best odds of getting bit with this, so this is where we're going to start. It's been a minute since I threw the weightless Senko, so uh, this might take a little bit of getting used to for me. I tell you, the current is moving extremely fast. They are just letting so much water out of Folsom right now. And the Sacramento River and the whole northern part of the delta here is just, it's flowing fast. I mean, we're going easy, I don't know, eight, nine miles an hour. It's almost unfishable for something like a Senko, you know. Uh, it only drifts with the current for so long. We're moving so fast by the time I cast out in front. It's already behind me. Rough conditions, but we're gonna keep going. All right, well, we had our first snag of the day and uh, we're moving so fast, it's gonna be hard to tie a new one on at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm gonna fire up the engine, idle back up the slough a ways, and then uh, we'll try the Texas rig on the way down. It's got a quarter ounce weight, it'll get it down a little bit faster, and uh, you know, maybe that'll help. All right, well, next up is the Texas rig. Senko, let's see if we can't get bit on this, huh?
Nothing. Not a single bite all day long. All right, so we're going to attempt one more pass. we got enough time for one more before the sun goes down. We're going to go back to the whip wad, but you can see I put it on an underspin there. So we're going to see hopefully if that extra flash can't get us some bites. All right, well, I don't think it gets any more official as a strikeout than that. We struck out on the Senko, we struck out on the Whip Wad, we struck out on the Texas Rig. Nothing worked today. Well, I really thought these oregano-infused baits were going to work. Hey, you know, could be the conditions, could be the high current, you never know. We'll just have to wait and see and uh, try and fish them again some other time and you never know, see if they'll work or not. I had a blast making this video. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Even though we skunked for the day, it was a fun adventure. And hey, any day out here on the Delta is a good day. There's no such thing as a bad day on the water. So look, I hope you all have a happy, fun, safe 420 out there. And until next time, y'all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Michael, out here around these Delta slews, reminding you to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you.